Buenas noches, mi amigos y mi amigas, puto maricón puto. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? We are on book Ichi Ni Sun Yun Go Five Five. All right, so this is Velvet. Okay, so Velvet is. We haven't really seen a lot of her. Um, she is important to Cornelius' story because Cornelius, that's his love interest. That's he. She is his love interest as well. There's Socrates, the little black kitty. The little black pussy. Ah, uh, that takes me back. All right, so we're going to get on here. And this is the last character, man. This is before we get into the final act, the the final bosses and the endings. This is the last full playthrough where you're going to see maps and all that shit. Um, so here we go. If one succumbs to the control of destiny and despair, the outcome will be simple, but we know. We shall find our true fate only in choosing a path that defies destiny. Burr. Cornelius! He squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. <laughs> I do not approve. Ingwei! How dare you! How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. A king, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please, don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now, read this once again. Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like mother in Hindel? I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. Whew! That shit just got, it got deep. All right, so Velvet, my dear children, eventually, that's a great, the cauldron guides the way to Armageddon with its final stone. Okay, so Velvet is the daughter of King Odin, 
basically uh, 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 King Odin and the Princess of Valentine in the middle of the war. So when Odin's country was fighting Valentine, or their their country, when they were fighting, he went to, he fucked their princess. And Velvet is basically the daughter. So it's Gwendolyn's sister, one of Gwendolyn's sisters, because Gwendolyn has Griselda as a sister and her. Now she's got the Iron Monkey thing going on. Look at this. Oh, look at that shit, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. That's sexy. She can move, it, can't she? Holy shit. Is she just lifting them? Dude, she's not even holding them. She's lifting them with her mind. That's awesome. Oh, she's a badass. Yeah, see? See, it's, uh, her hands aren't even on it. When she attacks, her hands are on it. But when she absorbs, that's cool. Oh, Velvet's awesome. <laughs> George, George, George up the jungle. Oh, wait. Go this way. Oh, that's cool, man. She's cool. Fate. Oh, shit, it's Hindle. I love Why Hindle. Have my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, a world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Until, as the prophecy states, the Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. So even Oswald, even even Hindel could foresee this is all destiny and fate and everything, right? They the, the, the in Norse mythology, these dragons, these gods, they almost see what's coming. They're letting it happen. Basically that's what's happening, because Hindel goes, um, I will do what I can until uh, Ooh, why the Puka Village. Why am I at the Puka Village? Princess Velvet. This is a oh, okay, so if you... Um, well, I'm at the Puka Village, I'm an idiot. Valentine... Was created after our ancestors first came to and all the ex-citizens of Valentine turned into Pukas. Yeah, they're all Pukas now. And we prospered, becoming an affluent nation. 
In our golden age, we controlled over half the continent and... Master Koi. Him? <laughs> All right, let's just get to it, baby. We're going to the Netherworld for the first act. It's very interesting, some of the choices in this game. Like, some of the first... As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters. A monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were taught about these prophecies when we were younger. Princess Velvet, do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Scaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do not seek a debate. All you want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Then I salute your extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Master! That wasn't nice, Scaldi. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Galen knows the entire poem. But Galen is held prisoner in the netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the netherworld. Yes, indeed. I can. I'd like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction, I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. What is it you want? Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the Book of Transformation... That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only asked to borrow it for a short time. I see. Well, let us go before we change our minds. So her grandfather, the King of Valentine, that's that undead plague dude with the crown. He puts the crown on Leventhin, that dragon that breaks out of the egg that gives it more power or whatever. He's fucked up. Not a cool guy. Not a good character. Let's dance, baby! Ah! Oh. Ah, that tree's blocking my view. What a twatty tree. Dumb twatty undead tree. You stupid, silly little bee. Photo prism. Well, what'd I get? Okay, so her first move is... Dancing chain. Let's see. Release a chain that chases foes. Okay. Let's see how badass that is. Uh... Pff, 
<laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Maybe it's better in battle. Let's see what it's like in battle. Whoop. Oh! Damn! That's actually pretty badass, man. Okay. I'll bite. Oh shit, it's like a homing chain that goes- that pierces through targets. So, if there's like a guy up top, a guy in bottom, a guy in the middle, it'll go- It'll go like this. It'll go like... Brah. I'll go, bup, bup, bup. Well, you know, I'll do like a zigzag thing, you know? I'll do it when there's like a lot of enemies on the screen because that shit will be se sexy. Well, let's see. Burr, 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 burr. See, whenever I see cosplayers like cosplay and shit, why don't they ever do costumes? Like, is there any, like, you know, velvet? Like, the characters in this game are, would be badass to cosplay. I usually, I usually see chicks who like dress in 2B like with a black thong and a bra and I've played Nier, Autom uh, Nier Automata and Nier Automata but 2B is not dressed like that right she doesn't have a thong and a, she has this really cool outfit there are some cosplayers that go dead on balls accurate see I'm an accurate guy I like when the cosplay is like totally on the money I don't care if it's sexy unless the character made it sexy because I've seen Yuna a billion times in my life from Final Fantasy X, not once have I seen her in a thong with like, you know, pasties over her nipples. I have not seen her once like that holding a staff. You know what I mean? Like, that's not Yuna. Yuna doesn't do that. I mean, I guess that's for fucking kids who haven't learned about Pornhub yet. I'm just saying like that, like if, if, if it's accurate, like she's literally about to do the dance of summoning and shit or of sending, I should say. In the game, it's sending where she sends the spirits to the far plane. That's awesome. That's the shit that gets me like, wow, that's amazing. Like, I think that's pretty and shit. Unless the character is sexy, like B Bayonetta. That's a great character to cosplay as, right? If you're going for sexy, Bayonetta. Fucking, because she's sexy all the time. The glasses and the hair, everything about that character. Am I getting poisoned? Oh shit, I'm getting poisoned. Ah! Ah, uh, for Christ's sake. I got an antidote, it's all good. It's okay, it's okay, we're good. Come on. Ah! Jesus Christ. The first level, you're gonna poison me? Okay. Okay, come down. Yeah! Jesus. Alright, I'm good. We good? We good? But Bayonetta, that's just. That character oozes sex, right? That character's about being sexy and shit. I mean, her moves in the game, she literally gets naked. She becomes naked, this energy kind of envelopes her so you don't see the naughty bits. And she does these like awesome badass killer moves. That makes sense. It's like it's like it's like Halloween when it comes to cosplay, I think. Like, you know, there you have these you have these uh, cosplayers like Halloween, like you see like these chicks dress up as cats with push up bras. I have two cats. Not once have I ever gone home and seen them in a push up bra. I'm an accuracy dude. Dress up in a big fur dress up as a big furry if you're gonna be a cat. Because I've never seen a cat in a push-up bra. Um, I'm sure, pretty sure angels don't wear push-up bras. Like, I see a lot of angel chicks with a halo, but they have push-up bras and shit. It just doesn't make sense to me. Accuracy. Accuracy. That's what it's about, man. Oh, shit! God, this is hentai tentacle porn going on. I've seen a lot of pornos start out like this. True story. Oh, like, you didn't do dumb shit when you were young. I'm sorry. Yeah, everyone was perfect when they were younger. We all watched non-hentai- Damn it! We all watched non-hentai porn when we were younger. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, okay, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're- I'm the fucked up one. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, hey! My favorite dude, man! You know- Oh, shit! Come on, fat boy! <laughs> oh, shit, I think- I think I love Velvet. I think I do! Woohoo! 
Holy shit. She is a bad bitch, man. Look at that badass girl. You go, girl. Mm. You go. You do that shit, motherfucker. And I totally forgot to equip my accessories. I'm an idiot. Tentacle hentai porn. What's going on with this world? Uh, oh, okay. What do I want to do? I want to go. I'm going to go up. I'm going up. Wait. Do I want to go up? Where's the key? I bet the key's in that chest on the up, uh, upper left. I bet, dude, by the time we get to chapter, by the time we get to the epilogue in this, in her story, she is going to be a badass fu dude. Bro. Sis. You know what I mean? Who's this? Ah! The Halya! I love Halyas. Damn! Ah! Wrong way! That way! Thank you. I just don't like the teleporting thing. That's annoying. Good lord! Okay, so... When I'm, uh, when I'm upgrading... Guess what I'm upgrading? That... Whoa! That move and her cypher. Which is what I'm about to do. I'll upgrade her cypher first. Cypher. Cypher. Alright, so we're gonna go up. And I bet you money that fucking chest. It's either the chest up here or down there. Did I even touch that? Damn it. Oh, sorry. 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 Whoa. Oh! <laughs> that was it? That was the chest. That guy was the chest. That's fucking crazy. That's the first time that's happened in this game. Usually there's a chest. I would never thought to do that unless by accident. Like, if I didn't see a chest in there, I would just left. I wouldn't have thought to attack that guy. Ba -ba -ba. Twist, it, twist, twist. Twirl, twist, whatever. Oh, fuck. Ooh, I'll take you to the candy shop. Not you the lollipop. Go ahead, girl, don't you stop. Keep on going to hit the spot. Ooh, I'll take you to the candy shop. I'll let you take the lollipop. Go ahead, girl, now you're up. You can have it your way. Mm. How do you want it? Can I back that thing up or can I push up on it? Breaking out for you now, baby, it's simple. You be a nympho, I'll be a nympho. Got the magic stick, I'm a love doctor. What? Ah! Good. Alright. Got a good feeling about Velvet, man. Good feeling about Velvet. She's gonna be badass. So, uh, this way. I'm gonna do a little loop to loo. Would you fucking go up? Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Dead. The other way! Jesus. Come to Papa or Mama, whatever. Oh. How sexy is this shit? That's awesome. Friends teaching you a bad sprung, I got you. baby, no problem. I'm a seasoned vet when it comes to this shit. Trying to explain, baby, the best way I can. I'm melting your back, fucking not in your head. Candy. Oh, shit. Candy shop. Let your naked on the pop. Swing, bada. Swing. If you stay in that green stuff too long, you will get poisoned. You'll get, po you know, to where, you know, you have to use an antidote or you have to wait for it to wear off. Antidote's probably safer. Always use an antidote. When all else fails, use an antidote. Did I? Oh, never mind. All right.
Oh. I'm gonna need to go back and get that. That was my bad. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, you suck. Bastard. I hate that chest. You just get more coins. It's just a more coins thing. Close enough. Let's eat. All right, it is boss time. I think Queen Odette is our number one. Why did you not assist me, disappearing like that? As you promised, I did borrow the book in question. But it was missing the section regarding the curse of the Puka. As it stands, I cannot help your current situation. The pages were removed. Ingwe must have interfered. There is not much time. If the Queen catches us, she will not allow us to leave. The King's prison cell should be nearby. I smell warm blood. Do I sense live humans? Oh, King of Titania. It Galen. is I. Be gone, you demons. I have already declined your request. Great King, although you do not wish it, we will one day release you. But our business today is different. We come here to ask you, Scribe of Arian's greatest epic, about the world's end. The scent of the blood coursing through your veins, I remember it. I am Princess Velvet of Valentine. His grandchild. Please tell me of the prophecies that are based on the Psalms. What do you hope to gain? I wish to oppose destiny and escape a curse that would cause my death. <laughs> oh no, the Halia will hear us. This is all that is left in my head and in my hands. Seek out the rest. I shall dream about you saving the world. Ah, the corpse that calls itself royalty. She has come to torture us. Uh oh. Silence, Gap. I do not recall allowing visitors into the prison. Queen Odette of the Netherworld. You say you are from Valentine. The memory of that name makes me furious. That criminal you all call the king. He stole my eye, 
crawled out onto the earth. What? My grandfather? Your rudeness continues. Tearing me limb from limb is not punishment enough. Oh shit. Okay, so is Queen Odette. All set. Come on. That's you. All right. Let's fuck it up. Let's, uh. uh. Oh shit! I pissed her off. Where are you going? Come on. Oop. We got both right. Oh, ow. Oh, nice. How dare you make me bleed my own blood, you twat. Born of fragmented souls. I shall pound you into your graves if you do not leave us. Criminal Odin, you will never be forgiven. You have been warned, you fools. It's you again, Odin. I, tis I, you queen of rotting cadavers. I shall decline from kissing your hand, but I shall restrain myself while in your court. After stealing my jewels, how does a thief call himself restrained? The crystals of the netherworld are quite useful. It is a waste to leave them. Casting off darkness and shining through, you cannot defeat me. It will be my own hand that finally nails your casket shut. Do not think you will die peacefully. Let's go, Velvet. Don't come near me. Something must be wrong if you have come to save me. The Holy are growing impatient. But they do not tremble nor shy away. Let me take you to the Netherworld's exit. So that girl is Odin's daughter. Hmm, I must escape quickly, too. Damn, Odin is a badass, ain't he? Holy shit. So he, like, took out a Halya in one hit. That's all it took him, one hit, to take out that Halya. So like, holy shit. Yes, Daddy.
Now what we want to do, as always, we want to go down this right path right here. Damn it, I don't have enough. Fuck. Alright, well, we'll get it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Puka! It's Puka time. Alright, let's get out of here. Hello, business with this. Um. All right, not nope. Uh, okay. Next stop, Ringford Forest of the Fairies. So we're going to Mercedes hometown, homie. Capital of Valentine, that's where the, the battlefield is. Where uh, the uh, Alfaria dies, the, that's the queen of the fairies. She went to the netherworld with that sorcerer? This is so dangerous. Oh, I'm so nervous. <sighs> He may still be nearby. She's been looking gloomy ever since she returned. If I may ask, why are you so frightened? My grandfather, King Valentine, has escaped the Netherworld. The deceased king? But how? My grandfather was interested in the cauldron. If that is true, it must surely refer to the Great Cauldron that appears in the prophecies. Is this the beginning of the end of the world? I do not know. Tis impossible to speculate the motives of a king who has escaped the netherworld. You have such great wisdom. Do you know of any way to prevent this destruction, Father? Hmm... A single ring controls the cauldron. The ring that my grandfather was wearing? Indeed, the ring of Titrell. If that ring is used to stop the cauldron, no one can restart it, not even a king. Where is this ring now? It's in Fairies. the fairy kingdom yeah. where the cauldron has been taken. I shall sneak in and recover the ring. What do you say? Velvet! I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there. If I asked him... If you're discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of this. I don't want anyone else involved. Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. That is when this chain shall protect me. All right, sweet. Shall we? Oh, ah, son of a bitch. Damn it. Well. Oh, actually, that works. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Not really. <laughs> Watch this. Now, I gotta be careful, though. I could still fuck it up. Back up. Oh, oh, ah! Huh. Okay. <laughs> How cool was that, man? I didn't think that was gonna work. Still got it. Love it. I'm a genius. If I had not gotten that before I fell all the way down, it would have been over. I wouldn't have been able to get it. Uh, flare shot. Releases flame that crawl 
along the ground. So put that there. Fire pillar in front and put that there. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, she's badass. I love her. Yeah, she's cool. See, these rooms always confused me. Like over here, watch this. Like what's in here? Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm a little teapot sure and That's the only thing that sucks about it. I can't use items. So for instance, this next area have to go back. If, any, if it's anything worthwhile, you know what I mean? If it's anything worthwhile, like, going back to, I will. Probably won't be. I mean, since we're reaching the ta tail end of the game, I want to just get through it. I gotta get through this. Oh, wait. Is there a merchant here? I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. One sec. That map is very important because it guides me. Guides me. Makes it easier to figure out where to go, like my path. I could set a course. So, for instance, I'm going to go down and up. Oh, it's pretty... Okay, that's linear. I like that. I like it when it's linear. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Nice moves. Recipe alchemy. Yeah, al alchemy. Ah! Well, that answered my question. I can't, I can't proceed without being a little midget. I gotta go midgety. Gotta go small, smallish, smaller. I gotta shrink. <laughs> ah! Damn it! Fuck it! Oh, sweet. Ow. That hurt? Oh, that's had to hurt. Oh, 
Oh. What do I want to do? Oh, uh, two, two. Ah, it's not worth it. Okay, let's do this. This. Come on, man. Sling whip. I like that dancing chain because it's power attack. I like power attack. Power is easier to recover than obviously PP. PP is like magic. Power is just like stamina. You know what I mean? Like what? You, like it's easy to recover stamina. You just got wait a second, and then you can pop another attack. Whereas opposed to PP, you're like Jesus Christ. So oh shit! Hup. Ah! Oh god damn! That's a badass move. They melt. They just disappear. She's like Iron Monkey. It's like Jet Li. Oh, Who's the boss? Oh, sweet, I like this guy. Uh, burn. Oh, that had to hurt. Good night. hard to kind of traverse. Not hard, it's a little difficult. So here's what we're not going to do. I'm not going down. Oh, I'm not going down to get that chest. Fuck that chest. No way. I'm 
All right, well, let's get, get some fruits. Two levels ain't bad, right? Ain't bad, ain't bad. But we're gonna go do that hard fight to get that golden apple. Watch it be, I guarantee you, I guarantee you it's gonna be at, oh no, sweet. I thought I had to shrink to get to it. Okay. Would it wanna be you? Oh, that's gotta hurt. That has got to hurt. That was beautiful. That made me cry a little. A little. Not a lot. All right, now let's go get that boss, shall we? Shall we then? Ah, no, not you. Straight across. No, we'll wait for the next round for the merchants. Merchants go next round. That was badass, ain't you? Shit. Badass. It's the first Rose Mile I've gotten. All right. Boss time. Will it be Mercedes? Will it be Altharia? Will it be Oswald? Will it be Melvin? Freeze. Mercedes. How dare you intrude in the palace while my mother is away in battle? Oh no! Princess Mercedes! What? You... Grandfather, did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What was that? Is that the ring to Trell? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen. 
by the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> Prince? It can't be... Ingwe. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. You are not going anywhere! Guards! Guards! Mercedes it is. Er. Oh. Okay, let's throw some potions out, shall we? Are you? Sh oh, she's healing. What the hell? I didn't know you could heal. Die. Good. Velvet. I'm relieved that you're all right. We were worried. Master. We, we can't let ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. Father, is the king really trying to create another disaster? So this is I the know ring. not the king's mind. But if the king wishes to use the cauldron for atrocity once again, the only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. But I cannot bear to see the princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe. Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me the ring. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Scaldi has friends in the Fairy Kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first... How can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Tichrel? All right. What I get, what I get. Please be a passive. Please be a passive. And it is a passive. Okay. Uh, increase damage dealt against those. Yeah. That works. Thank you. Thank you, please. Oh, right, 65. Oh, wait. Okay, so then I have to do this. Oh, shit. I can do it. I got it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're good. That would be even better if I could do that, but not there yet. 
All right, so this will be chapter three. Oh my god, I might get through this tonight. I just gotta get through this. Boom, boom, boom. Eleven. Eh, I might. Do I have any gold coins? I don't. Shit. All right. Is there something you now, if I can buy food, yes. Okay, so when you can buy food, that means this is the chapter where my MNF and favorite characters in it, Mori. I love Mori. Mori's the man. Ah. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. Is there something? I've got to make a little room. All right, so we're good. Ooh, what are we doing here? Goblins, why are they here? The wind here is tainted with selfishness. Fools are fighting over a treasure at my grave. The world has become a rowdier place since I was last here. <gasps> it's been a while, has it not, Velvet? The last time I lost my life here. Grandfather? What is wrong, my child? You tremble. I guess my appearance does not help. But alas, this is how your king returns. <laughs> Twas your duty to dance and console me, remember? So what is keeping you? Show your courtesy and kneel as you did before! Yes. Now! Do you remember who commands you? There, there. You are a good child who obeys my commands. I shall have you work for me, as you always have. We shall regain the cauldron and purify the old world. <gasps> Grandfather, please forgive me. What? Do you dare to disobey me? You? It seems that I may need to use the whip to bring you back to your senses. Grandfather, please. You fool. Now follow me. The cauldron must be put to sleep. So that none may control it. What? No. You can't have the Ring of Tetrell. Where is it? Do you have it? I will not tell you, even if you kill me. You... You conceited child! But I cannot waste my time like this. I shall use the whip on you later. I... I have to calm down. Grandfather is hurrying because he thinks that I can stop the cauldron. I must get there first. All right. Capital of the Lost Kingdom. Lost Kingdom of Valentine, obviously.
Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on, man. Going, oh, down. All right, Mori. Mori should be here. If Mori's here, it's going to be a good day. Yes, he is. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite character in this whole game. This whole effing game. No recipe? Oh. All right, so we're gonna go down, loop up, go right, left, then back. So we're gonna be like boop boop, boop boop, boop boop, and bam. Damn it, every time, every time. Until I'm done with this game, I'll do that shit every fucking time, man. Come on. Would you happen to be the princess? Tis a pleasure to serve a I shall huh? You have. Now then. He has served a member of the royal family. Don't give yourself enough credit, Bubba. You're a good guy. 300 and 210. Well, that's it, right? We're just doing this twice, I guess. I get a level? Yes, I will. All right. I think I'm good now. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, Bubba. Thank you so much. I'm good. Okay, we're doing a loop de loo. Oop. Where's that chest? No, there it is. Oh, <laughs> 
Create an illusion that attracts the enemy's attention for a time. Ugh, there's so much going on with these skills. I, I do have one more to fill up, though. Uh, sling whip. Flare shot. Uh, why not? Alright. Oh, let's get some miles in. Come on, let's move, let's move, let's move. Oh shit! God, she lights shit up. I love this girl. Come on, man. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Uh, bu 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 bu. <laughs> oh, shit. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Mr. Bigglesworth. Right, using a laser. All right, so boom, we got some new boots. Oh, second. Meh. All right, so new boots. Let me see. Uh, seven. We could lose that. Lose that, I said, and get those. And we good. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. It is all good. I got that key, but oh yeah, I want to use that key. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Screw you. I think we could do an upgrade right about now, can't we? Fuck yeah. Dude, we totally can. Holy shit. Um, Damn, close. Next level. Next level. Oh, this guy. I love this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lead Dude. Ugh. Stun him! Thank you. Now you can die. Such an asshole. Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. Fuck. Bastard. Oh, come on. God, that poison is so effing annoying. Holy shit. All right. Back this way. Screw you. I don't want to fight Odin's lackeys. But Odin is total badass in this fucking game. He's awesome. He's like a thousand year old man with a big gray beard, but he's like built like a brick shit house. He's like really big. He's got this cool demon mask. He's actually called the Demon Lord. He's got a demon mask. Go figure. Anthony Hopkins, suck it. Whoa! I'll go this way. Oh shit, look! Is that how you get through the sandstorms? Wait, so only Velvet can get through the sandstorm? That doesn't make any sense. So every other character is stuck but her. Fuck it. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Alright, that makes sense, I guess. Richard five six seven eight seven six. What the fuck is up, man? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. We're having fun just playing as these really cool characters. Uh, you know, swinging from chains. There'll be an orgy later. Just you know, same old, same old. Nothing, uh, nothing. Uh, just a regular Tuesday night. Hope everyone's doing good. By the way, everyone who's come by, uh, checking out this vid, checking out the stream. I want to say, as always, thank you. For taking the time out to check me out check out the stream and this wonderful amazing awesome game that is one of my favorites one of my favorite stories in any video game and i'm including final fantasy final fantasies metal gears grand theft autos i think it's just a amazingly well put story and i like how you have to go through all of all basically the characters to kind of get a full picture you have to like there's stuff that happens like little shit that happens that you don't catch unless you play all the storylines it's a really wonderful um wonderful game wonderful piece of game one hell of a game boy these the people at vanillaware know how to make a game they've done this they've done dragon crown dragon crown they've done uh muramasa rebirth this will be this is obviously my favorite of those three God damn! Had a lot of health. Whoa! Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh hello! Hello! Boom, baby! Come on! Nice. Velvet can light shit up. Hopped about the bed, turn my swag on. Okay. 
More capacity. I got more capacity. More. So Velvet is the only one that can swing through these sa Shit. Oh, so I have to double back. Sorry, guys. We're going to double back. But so here's what's really cool. Like, these red... I love these levels. These... With the, with the five stars and shit. Uh, this is going to be the jam, man. What do you... What do you see this fucking shit? It's going to be like two bosses. And they're going to be... Are they two? Oh, hey. What's up, man? Uh, there we go. Ah, bah, 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 bah. 